You are watching a video made for sharpresources.com, the website which brings you design and technology resources for pupils and teachers alike. We specialize in PowerPoint presentations, tutorial videos, interactive flash videos, as well as custom resources. Enjoy the video. Our next type of pictorial drawing is perspective. Perspective is the one type of pictorial drawing that attempts to give us a visually accurate image rather than a technically accurate image. There are two main types of perspective drawing. The two at the top of this page are two-point perspective and the one in the middle is a one-point perspective. We are going to start off just now by looking at one-point perspective. We are going to use this simple example to go over the rules of perspective drawing first thing we can see right away is that there is a face that has been drawn facing us. So there's a face that is face on and therefore can be completely accurate. If this view is correctly sized, we've got a good start for a perspective drawing. This gives us our first rule that the front face can be drawn accurately. Now we must select the point that we're going to take our perspective back to. This will be called the vanishing point, and these lines will be called perspective lines. Draw a line from each of these corners back to the vanishing point, and this will give you the start for all of our depths. As you can see, they're all going to be at different angles because they're all converging on one point. The second rule here is that the horizon and vanishing point height distorts the height the object is viewed at, and we can see that by bringing up another example. This example here has been drawn with the vanishing point being below the front face and this then gives us the impression that we are looking from a height that is lower than the building and actually we can see underneath it. So the next step in completing our previous example is to decide how far back the building will go. Now this highlights our third rule that is the horizontal lines from the end elevation project back to the vanishing point and then rule 4 that the depths must be estimated and get smaller as the height reduces so what that means is that we choose how far back it goes not based on an accurate size as we did with the front elevation but with a size that looks right we can draw in the information then joining up the perspective lines where required and to find this door and window we would need to have detailed perspective lines like this that would give us our heights. In the other example that we had we can see that the depths have not been chosen very well in this and the building goes back in such a way that when the window and door is drawn it looks out of perspective, it looks too big and that's exactly what we're trying to avoid. Recapping on one point perspective rules reminds us that the front face can be drawn accurately, the horizontal lines from the end elevation project back to a vanishing point, the horizon and vanishing point height distorts the height that the object is being viewed at, and depths must be estimated and should get smaller as the height reduces as we get closer to the vanishing point. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out the others available at sharpresources.com.